Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. Today I will be making a Mumbai street food style recipe. A recipe that a lot of you guys have been recommending me to make. And this is a world famous fast food dish or perhaps the king of street food in the western state of Maharashtra. So you have guessed it right, I will be making pav bhaji and I am so excited. I have not done it before. So guys, what I want you to do is stay with me through this video. Let me know what you think. Give me those tips. And of course, if you are a new viewer, don't forget to subscribe. With your support, we're able to continue making videos for you guys. So it's time to show you the ingredients. Okay guys, so here is the ingredients that I got. So we have potatoes over here. This is what's gonna make that thickness. And then we have the coriander, cilantro, green pepper, garlic, onions, tomatoes, lemon. Uh, one of my favorite spices, I just absolutely love the smell of this, the kasuri menthi. Sometimes when I'm walking by, I just open it just to just to smell it and it just smells so good. So we're gonna be using that. And then we have the heart and soul of this dish, the pav bhaji masala. Again, the heart and soul of this dish, cannot wait. Then we got the minced ginger. And we got, of course, butter. And then we got some other spices here. We got the turmeric. We got some salt. We got the kasuri chili powder or kashmiri chili powder. And then we got the fluffiest, softest buns. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is what I love about this dish was that it comes with like these dinner rolls. Um, normally you have naan, or you have the paratha, or you have the roti. So I had no idea that this dish came with the dinner rolls, uh, the buns. Um, I was looking everywhere for like the authentic Indian buns, but at the store, the Indian store that I go to, they didn't have them. So I just got these ones, but they're really nice and soft, and I cannot wait to eat this dish. So guys, I'm gonna start by boiling the potatoes. Okay guys, so the potatoes are chopped up. I have about three potatoes here already cut. I'm gonna put them into the hot water. So guys, this is what I love about doing these cooking videos is learning more history about the dish. So I didn't know, but pav translates to the bread, pav. And then the bhaji is that vegetable gravy we're gonna make after these potatoes are done. And then this dish originated in Maharashtra, which is the second most populated state in India. Super cool, this dish is so famous, I cannot wait to eat it. So the next thing we're gonna do is let these potatoes cook, and then we're going to make the vegetable gravy. So excited, guys. Okay guys, so potatoes are done. Now we're gonna start making this vegetable gravy. So the recipe calls for adding some butter. A nice generous scoop of butter. Next, we're going to add the chopped tomatoes. I already chopped the tomatoes. I have about three of them. Beautiful. Next, I have the green peppers. And last is the potatoes. Okay, we're gonna give this a little bit of a stir, get that butter on the other side of the pan here. Okay guys, let's not forget to add the salt. So I'm gonna, I use the pink Himalayan salt. Recipe calls for about a tablespoon. I'm gonna say that's good. 
<laughs> we can always add more salt later. Then we're going to add some water. Let's make sure I get the right consistency. You guys can let me know from the recipe that I'm following though, this looks like the consistency that we're going for. Not too watery. And next we are going to let this cook for about five minutes. And then the fun part is adding all of these amazing spices. Okay guys, it's been sautéing for about 10 minutes. Take a look, let me know what you think. Voila! So there it is. It's getting there. We have several different stages to go. As you can see here, the consistency is thicker. Now, it says we gotta mash everything until it becomes smooth. I'm gonna turn down the heat a tiny bit. So all the tomatoes, green peppers, we're going for a nice, smooth consistency. Okay. I'm gonna get an arm workout at the same time. <laughs> Don't forget that happiness is homemade. <laughs> Which is super true. Now, I remember some comments you guys are leaving me that now that I know how to cook, it's gonna be hard now to like go out and eat at these restaurants, which is kind of true because I actually really love cooking it. Okay guys, let me know. What do you think of this consistency? The tomato skins are kind of still there, but maybe they'll dissolve soon. Okay, next we're going to add the spices, what makes it super, super flavorful. Okay, we're starting off with the Kashmiri Chili Powder. I'm going to start off light. It says one Teaspoon, I'm gonna just start with half. About there. Next, we have some turmeric. See, just a quarter actually, it said teaspoon. Look at that. And the heart and soul of this dish, the Pav Vaji Masala. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the smell of this is, it's like Christmas Day. It smells really good, really exciting. One teaspoon. Beautiful. And then the Kasuri Menthi, again, one of my other favorite ones. Smells super good. This actually doesn't say to grind it up in my hands. Like normally I put it in my palm and then grind it. But this recipe says just to take it as is. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more there. Beautiful, next we mix. So I like that it's getting thicker because the recipe had the same look. I'm actually using a recipe that you guys leave me in the comments below. So thank you, feel free to give me more recipes. And then um, the next stage of this I'm gonna show you is a very interesting cooking technique that uh, I haven't seen anywhere else. And guys, don't forget to stay tuned till the end because little Alfonso has a dessert that we have not tried before. He's my professional dessert taster. He's gonna let us know what he thinks of this new Indian dessert. Okay guys, my house smells amazing now. Here is the paji. So it became thicker and this is what the recipe calls for. It says you gotta push all of this to the side. Make a little spot in the middle. See, really interesting cooking technique. <laughs> Never done this before. You guys can let me know if you've done this before. We're gonna add some butter in the middle 
And then we're going to start adding the spices. But now we're only going to do about half of the amount of spices. We're going to start off with the pav bhaji, the heart and soul of this dish. So half the amount of spices. Then we're going to do the kasuri menthi. This time, guys, I'm going to actually put it in my palm because I noticed that there is some thicker, I'll show you. There's some pieces of like um, stems. So I feel like when you do it in your palm, it, it gets broken up. In the middle, it says. There we go. Perfect. Then we are going to add the organic minced ginger. Love, love, love ginger. Most of these ingredients, guys, I'm using them from our, my other recipes, which is amazing. Um, so we're going to grab some ginger. Beautiful. Next, we're going to move on to adding the onions, cilantro, and garlic. I have them chopped up here. You guys can let me know if maybe they need to be thinner. I think they look great though. Let's put it in. Look at this little boat of happiness <laughs> we are making. This is amazing. I'm going to throw the garlic in there too. And we love cilantro. So add a generous amount. Perfect. And then we're going to squeeze a lemon. I know sometimes my food comes with a lemon on top and I don't usually squish it on there, but you guys have been letting me know in the comments that this adds a lot of flavor. So look at that. Beautiful. Next, we are going to mix inside here. Then it says, now we can take and mix everything. Wow, the aroma is insanely good. I love it. Ooh, now I smell even the ginger. Look at that, guys. Okay, next we are going to add some water. Just a bit though. Let's start with that. And we are going to mash. We want to get that nice smooth consistency. Oh my gosh, the smell is incredibly good. The Pav Baji has like a certain aroma about it that is different than you know, other dishes that I've had. It has like a, like a really tasty, I'm getting hungrier, my mouth is watering. <laughs> okay. I think we should add a little bit more water because the recipe has a little bit of a thinner consistency. It says you just add water to, um, to your preference. What do you guys think? This is my first time making it. I love it. Okay, next is we are going to let this cook for about five minutes. Then we're going to move on to the path, which is the dinner rolls. I'm going to show you how to add a lot of flavor to these dinner rolls. Okay, guys, so here's how to make these dinner rolls just taste absolutely like heaven. So we are going to use some butter. I have a hot pan already. Butter. Next, we're going to add a pinch of the Pav Bashi Masala. Woo, that looks great. We're going to add a pinch of coriander. Love it. This is my other spoon. It's called Hello Sunshine. <laughs> I love my cooking spoons. <laughs> then we're going to mix it up. And guess what we're going to do, everybody? We're going to cut our dinner roll. 
Look at this fluffy dinner roll. Ah, we are going to mix it around in that butter. These are so soft, like even my finger just makes a little dent in them. That is how soft it is. So I got all of that. We're going to flip it around. Ooh, that looks good. That's going to have so much flavor and softness. Wow. Ooh, you can even just pull it apart, but I don't want to rip it. Okay, guys. And that is just, ooh, that is hot. Let's grab a little spatula. Wow, there it is. These are nice and hot. Oh my gosh, we have to start diving into the Paji. I'm so excited, guys. What do you think? Do you think these dinner rolls are going to be amazing? So guys, we're going to plate it, we're going to eat it, and then we're going to show you our dessert. Okay, guys, this is it. For the first time, I have accomplished making the famous Mumbai street food, Pav Bhaji. Take a look. Look at this butter just melting. It looks so delicious. And then, guys, take a look at my dinner rolls, how the inside looks. Oh, that looks so good. This looks good just on its own with all of those spices, butter, coriander. Oh my gosh, guys, this is an amazing dish. So much flavor. Cannot wait to try it, guys. These buns, the pav, look how easy it is just to tear off. So easy. I'm going to go straight in with the butter. <laughs> Let's get a good bite here. Oh my gosh, this is a big bite. Mmm. Oh my gosh, the flavors that are going around in my mouth. It's like spicy, lemony, zesty, ginger. Oh my gosh, this is so incredibly good though. And then the mixture of the bread and the potato, like really, really nice, like shockingly really good. <laughs> it's really addicting too. It tastes like the ultimate comfort food Super soft. I mashed this really, really well, though. Mm. Oh my gosh, the flavor, though. Mm. It is completely different. Honestly, this is completely different flavor than any other dish. I don't know what it is about that Pav Bhaji Masala, but it has so much flavor and a different one that I've ever tasted before. You know what's shining, though, in this dish is the lemon. I added a good amount of lemon. And there was also um, food coloring that I could have added to make it more red. But uh, I kind of want to stay away from adding like those extra colors. I think this looks great. Mmm. <laughs> that is really good. That is like, you know, so comforting. And I feel like it's very um, filling and very nutritious and very light though at the same time. I wasn't sure how is it going to be bread with mashed potato, but um, actually surprisingly super light. Let's get extra butter on there as if I hadn't had enough butter. Oh yeah, guys, I'm having a little problem trying to get <laughs> the paji with like my thumb. I think I used my thumb. You guys can leave me tips. Mmm. 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 I just want to look up at the sky and enjoy this moment. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, I think I researched too that every state has their own version of pav bhaji. I even saw a pav bhaji with cheese, like in the bun. And then I saw another one where it was like a sandwich, but I just went for like the classic. You guys can let me know how I did. The flavor though is super, super good. You know, I wish you guys could be sitting here with me trying this amazing food that I'm making for the first time. I feel so proud. <laughs> Thanks to you guys, though, who have been leaving me comments below and letting me know what I should try. This recipe was actually super fun and not too difficult. I had a great time making it, and I cannot wait to just devour all of this after <laughs> we're done filming. But guys, little Alfonso wants to show you what dessert he has picked out for you guys.
Okay guys, I am here with my professional dessert taster, Alfonso. <laughs> and we are here to try this new dessert. It is called the chocolate parfait. I might be saying that wrong. Or barfy. <laughs> you guys can let me know in the comments below. Fonzo, what do you think about this? Um, so, um, can you give it to me? Oh, I don't. So, um, this is the, the thing that used to have the syrup, but now has the chocolate now. Yes, it has chocolate. We had a dessert that had silver paper on top, and it was really tasty. Alfonso ate them all. <laughs> Take a look at these. Ooh, those look great. Whoa. Looks like a fudge. Can I see? Yeah, look at it. There's even some like white fudge at the bottom. Yeah, you want to take the first bite then? Yeah. Ooh, that that looked like a bit really nice. How is it? It's good. Is it good? What does it taste like? Um, it has that touch of yum but yum, but oh, <laughs> it has some lemon in there. Let me see here. I like the consistency. It's very dense. Chocolatey. Not sure what the white part is though. Mmm. Ooh, wow. Mmm. It tastes like a milk cookie with the chocolate. The consistency though, it tastes like the, the cashew one that we had with cashews. This is really tasty. And you know what? It's not overly sweet. I really, really like the texture though. Yeah, it's soft. Yeah, it's soft. And you get a little hint of chocolate, right? And you get a hint of yum too. There is something in there though that Alphonse is picking up on. I don't know if it's lemon. You guys can let me know. But this is absolutely super tasty. Wait, I, I can see something. Hmm. I, I thought it's something. Oh. <laughs> I think Alfonso is going to devour all of these, um, but one time a day, <laughs> you get one. They're really tasty, guys. Wow. Well, guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of my recipe. And on that note, just keep on dancing. Keep on dancing. <laughs>